In this video, we're going to be talking about the sun, the moon, but specifically, we're going to be talking about the eclipses that happen, the manifestations that happen through our sky at various points in the years. We have a few that are coming up in the months ahead, also into 2016. But specifically, I wanted to talk about the sun. Now, we have been told, do not look at the sun, ever. It is dangerous. It will burn your pupils. And this is where it gets very interesting. You would think that with the blazing hot sun, that would kind of make sense. But then we get into the eclipse, and they say, do not ever look at an eclipse. It's like they don't want us to see something in the sky. What are they hiding? Is it that they're trying to protect us? Or is it they're not wanting us to see clearly, truly, what's happening in the sky? Maybe their lies would be exposed. We're told that the sun is 93 million miles away from the Earth. We're also told the sun and the moon appear to be the same size in the sky. The explanation is that the diameter of the sun is almost 400 times the size of the diameter of the moon. The distance of the moon to the sun is 400 times greater. Therefore, this is coincidence. There's never coincidence. And this is what we want to investigate. The model that we have been told is a lie. Not only has it been a lie, there are certain things that are in the sky they don't want us to know. Now, we've been told that the sun is extremely dangerous and it will damage our eyes. Solar eclipses are incredibly even more dangerous never ever to look at them while they occur in the sky. This is because of the sun. But what's interesting is we were told that the sun reflects off of the moon at night as we see the moon in the sky. Now, have you ever been told never to look at the moon? We know that's silly. Everyone looks at the moon. No one ever goes blind. But yet it's reflecting the sun's sunlight in the night sky. So this is where it gets interesting. Why? Why have we been told that never to look at the sun, never to look at an eclipse, but it's okay to look at the moon? What if the moon was its own light source? What if the sun and the moon were two different light sources? And no, it wasn't just the one sun. This is where I'm going to stop and I'm going to tell you a little story. The story is, a long time ago, actually, up until 500 years ago, everyone believed that the world was flat in an enclosed system with the sun, the moon, and the stars all inside the firmament, as the Bible calls it. It's interesting that all of a sudden Copernicus come, comes out and explains a new heliocentric model, and everything starts changing. Evolution gets introduced. Everything for our existence, God gets pushed away, and yet the lies continue and people still believe everything that happens. I'm gonna say that no, not everything is the way it seems. Keep watching, find out. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The earth was without our home and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth. The gathering together of the waters called the sea, and God saw that it was good. And God said, Let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years, and let them be for light in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights. 
the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens, in the firmament of the heavens, in the firmament of the heavens, in the firmament of the heavens. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and hasted not to go down about a whole day. Fear before him all the earth, the world also shall be stable, that it be not moved. The Lord reigneth, he is clothed with majesty, the Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he hath girded himself. The world also is established, that it cannot be moved. Say among the heathen, that the Lord reigneth, the world also shall be established, that it shall not be moved, he shall judge the people righteously. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. For he looketh to the ends of the earth, and seeth under the whole heaven. We need to always look to the Word of God to find out the truth about the sun, the moon, the stars, the earth even we live on. This will help us to clear up any misunderstandings that we've been told about the lies throughout history, even up to present day. Look up at the sky. We've been told not to look at the sun, or eclipses for that matter. But we can look at the moon. Interesting. It is like it's magic. When you look at the moon, you've been told that it's the sun. It's the same thing. It's pretty clear. If you look at the diagram, you'll see other models are presented. Do your research and try to look beyond this world and everything that it has to offer. Explain, research, and try to look into things from a different perspective, something that hasn't been force-fed to you throughout all of your upbringing, from school, spinning the globe, in your kindergarten or grade one class. Look out at God's creation. Know that it's created differently. 
man has always tried to pervert throughout Satan's guidance throughout the history of the world. This is no different. I'm with you. It's a big one. It's something worth looking to. Look at the Bible. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament cheweth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night cheweth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven, and his circuit unto the ends of it. There is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and share it on your favorite social media sites. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned, and we'll see you back next time.